is going to be amazing! Hang on, where are the oars? They're not here. Is there anything else we could use? Ooh, floppy shovels! They'd be perfect! Out, Norman. Now I've lost my oh. paddle. I think I can reach it. Oh, uh -oh. oh, no. Now I've lost mine. We're floating away. Only one thing to do. Help! 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 What's that? <gasps> That's Norman and Derek. Oh, dear. Sam, help! We can't get back. Grab hold of the end! Thanks, Fireman Sam. Thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Uh, you see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we don't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. Mm, no broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you really warmed up before you started. Well, uh, And built up slowly. Oh, uh, oh! <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on. Where do you think you all are going? There is no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, yes, us. <laughs> I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Uh, where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. Okay, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. Goal? Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... <laughs> oh, oh. 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 Mamma mia! What have you done? Oh. I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. It's not fair. I'm missing the match, and all because of this silly pizza. <laughs> no, this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh, my back. Mm. Pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh no! Ba help! Fire! Oh! 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 Come 
Benny, we'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam, and I'm sorry, Bella. I just wanted to watch some soccer, but I should have been concentrating on the pizzas. Oh, I understand, Norman. After all, I love my football as much as you. Really? You're safe, Norman. Good work, Penny. Lower the double harness, Tom. Look at that, Sam. You first, Professor. Happened there. We are really sorry, Fireman Sam. We won't do any dangerous treasure hunting ever again. I'm glad to hear it. Still, it really is a shame that treasure is lost forever. Lost forever, Penny? <clears throat> Today is Ponty Pandy Pete Day. But sadly, the treasure of Ponty Pandy Pete has been lost. It wasn't my fault. But at least someone's going to be playing the part of Ponty Pandy Pete. <laughs> Aren't they, sir? Oh, uh, yes. Well, uh, I have, of course, been thinking long and hard about this one. And I, uh, um, well, <laughs> great tangled hoses. What was that? Did you be wanting to see that treasure? Penny must have dove down and found it! <laughs> well done, Firefighter Morris. <laughs> I think you might have found your Ponty Pandy Pete, sir. I have indeed. Ponty Pandy Penny! There you go. I say. Fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. On a line, Sam. James? James? Oh, no! Here comes Tom! And Fireman Sam! Stand back, everyone! Sam! We can't find James! He didn't do his froggy finale and he's He's not... locked in the change rooms. What? How did that happen? 
I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut. Oh. I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him, and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh, no! What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just load it up. Help! Help! Oh. It's all right, James. Stand back. No! Uncle Sam! Hey. I've got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. Okay, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. James. So you should be, Norman. Trapping someone anywhere is a very dangerous thing to do. When everything's fixed, we're doing the froggy fantasy again, but you are not going to be in it. Ha! Yes, someone else can play your part, Norman. You'll be doing fire safety lessons with me. Ah. That's right. Thank goodness for some splendid firefighting. You did a good job, Cridlington. Sneezes and all. <laughs> Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that. Get off! Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, Elvis. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Fireman Sam, but it was that nasty seagull's fault. Norman, it was our fault. We should have waited like my dad told us. <sighs> Mandy's right. We should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both okay. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh. oh. Now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Ah, uh, when it's ready, Mike, can I have the first bounce? Ah, oh, Fire Captain Steele. How's Elvis getting on with my passion fruit and pecan pastry? You said you'd ask Elvis to make it for me. Ooh, that, I, uh, <laughs> well, I forgot. Uh, sorry, Dillis. Oh, no. But the fishy fun day starts in half an hour. Um, Quidlington? I need you in the kitchen, immediately. Sorry, Fire Captain Steel. I'm playing at the Fishy Fun Day. Don't want to let my fans down. But I need you to make a dessert. Someone say they needed a dessert? Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, I'm seeing double. He's not me, sir. He's my cousin. I'm Jerry Lee, Jerry Lee Cridlington. Another Cridlington? Oh. Oh, you should ask Jerry Lee. He's an even better cook than me. Ta-da! 
One passion fruit and pecan puff pastry. Shaky, 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 shaky. Shaky, 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 shaky. Woo! Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some sand left. Marvelous! That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a... <laughs> I'm fine. Good thing we've got some sand left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam? Shaky, shaky, Ellie. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. <gasps> Don't listen to him, Penky. Come on, we'll show them. No! That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you're a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. Oh, my floodlights! I'd better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink. Oh, with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Gareth is missing on the mountains in the store. Gareth was with the children. They must be up there too. We'd better take Saturn. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. And I'm ready to head into the mountains.
Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. Oh, there you are. And you're hanging upside down. Awesome. Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way around. Oh, this must be one of those underground streams. Oh, oh no! Help! Oh no! Help! Oh no! Mandy's been turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price. Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam. Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountain, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. <gasps> Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Ooh. Oh, what's that? <gasps> the door's blocked. Too many boxes. I'll need to go upstairs. Ah! Oh, dear. I've never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose there's a first time for everything. Ah! Ooh! 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 I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Uh, she'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh, no! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan's Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs. Yeah, that. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger Roger that, Sam. Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? Chances are pretty high, Elvis. Worry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air 100%. It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy! I'm sorry I didn't take the penguin back to the zoo. 
I just thought it might like to live in my house. You need to know how to look after an animal before you try to give it a home, Norman. Animals are kept in exactly the right habitat in a zoo and have expert keepers looking after them. And I should have been more careful with those scented candles, Sam, and not block the door with those boxes. Well, I'm sure you won't be doing that again, Dillis. <laughs> It's all right, James. Nearly there. Nah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever. It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, okay? Yes, Sam. Chase scene looks incredible. Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman. Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James. This is the bit where you have a spectacular crush. I can't do it. It's okay, James. I'll call Fireman Sam. This McChin fellow is top-notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go-kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go-kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. to hit the boxes. Ah, uh, I may as well be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. <laughs> Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I got out of my animal rescue uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait. It's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no. That might be on fire, too. Ah! I'm on my way. I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit flossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mom or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. And now granddad doesn't have any pizzas for his railway gala. Hmm. I think I might know where I can get hold of some food. I hope Fireman Sam gets here soon with some food. Me too. I'm really hungry. Oh. Here's Sam now. I wonder what he's brought. Oh. What? Well, I never... It can't be. 
<gasps> Bella lasagna. Bella lasagna? Bella lasagna! It's a so good to see you all. And when Fireman Sam said that you had an emergency, I fired up my pizza oven. And she made as many pizzas as she could. <laughs> With that fog, it's gonna be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Ponty Pandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! <laughs> what I give to be back in my helicopter? Wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. Will Tom really be where you said, Dad? I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Hey! Yes! Here it is. You found me. There you go, Tom. Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be up there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> Our dad is the best. He's the coolest dad ever. All those who agree, sound your horns. Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Phillips, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter War, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band. The Strum Master 2000. Ta-da! That place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! 
has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take V. I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah! Anything but uh, make a mummy. But So this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? <gasps> my house! My bag! Oh, this is so nice and peaceful. The cafe's on fire! Stop! We have to call Fireman Sam! Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Fire Captain Steele has finally given up on the candy apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Ah. There is a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter Sam, air 100. Ready, Elvis? Ready, Firefighter Sam! Firefighter Quizlington, air 100. One at a time. Take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All the children are out, sir. But keep everyone back until we have this fire under control. Everyone back! Happy to announce, Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favorite chocolatey treat. <gasps> no, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving them lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. Huh? Oh! Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger that, Sam. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. See him, boy. Oh, oh dear. Gotcha.
You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? So sorry, Mom. I forgot that you told me that the fox was a wild animal, because I thought it looked like a dog, and I opened the cage to feed it, and it escaped. You mean that fox? <gasps> yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere, and it's back. He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. Well, it looks like everybody's happy. Does that mean that nothing was actually my fault? Wait a minute. You said that some foxes were just like dogs. Uh, well, maybe that one wasn't. Or, uh, maybe I was thinking about some other animal. Wolves? Uh, uh, pandas? Fish? Unicorns? <laughs> Fly us above the train, Tom. No worries, Sam. It is. I knew that. Huh? Hey! I'm so sorry, Sam. That'll teach me to wear a cardboard box on my head. You mean an astronaut's helmet, Garrett. <laughs> oh, yes. This way, everyone. The clouds are lifting. I'm sorry I tried to play a prank on you, James. I wasn't really fooled. I know aliens aren't real. Oh, yes, they are. One visited my house last night. Really? Yes. He was a little green man with seven eyes, 12 tentacles, and a purple mustache, and... Oh. Wow. The Northern Lights. The Aurora Borealis. Aren't they amazing? I'll tell you what's really amazing. Norman isn't saying anything. One small step for Norman, one giant leap for mankind. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Ben, you've really floated a long way. I kept dreaming. 
drifting in the current. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. I told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? Uh, I didn't finish. Off you go. Huh? Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Paddle like the wind! did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yep. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah! <laughs> oh no! Fire at the flood! It's okay, sir. Got this under control. Poor, innocent village. Behold, my spectacular circus sheep. Now this is entertaining. Wait till you see them jump the trembling tower of crockery. Jump, my woolly wonders. Sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> no, my model village. We'll need to act fast to set up a blockade. So, we'll need Arnold, Ellie, and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street, and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. <laughs> up the runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. Ah. <laughs> ah. Come back here, you silly sheep. There, all balanced. Thanks, Elvis. We'll store the pieces here until we can return them. Sorry, one more piece. Hip, hip. 
Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. I'm launching Saturn now! We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. Get ready, Penny. Gotcha! <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way. Dogs are naughty. You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else... I What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain! That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. There's a fire on Pony Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Pony Pandy Mountain! <laughs> The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Dampened it down, Penny, so we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. That'll do fine. I'm sorry, Sam. 
We got a bit carried away making the giant bear and... Just remember to keep your wicker animals a safe distance from your campfire and your campfire a safe distance from your tents. You two should have known better. Yes, yes Sam. Sam. Congratulations, everyone. You all get your bushcraft badges. <laughs> Hooray! And James gets a special fire marshal badge for spotting the blaze. Yay! <laughs> well, at least we managed to break the record for the world's tallest wicker bear. Although it is lying down. And on fire. We could always make another one. After all, we, we are, are the, the wild men of Plenty Pandy! I was afraid they were going to say that. Me too, Trevor. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever! Behold, my dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Wow! Huh? Oh! It is coming toward us! Oh! Oh no! It's rolling towards the station! I think... I better call Fireman Sam. A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. That's a new one. A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, Ellie, I might not have gotten into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Elvis. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Oh! Well, this is intolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. Quiddington, I need your help. I'm going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. Okay, sir. Ow. Keep going, sir. Keep going. And, oh! Uh, yeah. Now, please. Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Joe, Lizzie, come have a look at this. Uh. Uh. Oh, so, uh, yes, yes, yes. You stay there. Gently does it. Let me be all right, sir. Uh. Oh. 
What do you think, Cridlington? Whoa! <laughs> Oh no! Fireworks! There's a fire! Ah! Oh, oh, they in the tent! Where do they keep the fireworks? There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks? Those things could go up like a rocket! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Give him a shout, he'll be there to 